Have you ever experienced the uncomfortable feeling of being treated just as a stepping stone or a ladder by someone? Fake relationships can be challenging to identify, especially when we want to believe in the goodness of others. However, there are hidden signs and revealing words left by those who see us merely as means to achieve their own ends. In this video, we will explore the depths of these toxic actions, highlighting seven critical attitudes that scream that this person is not concerned about you and is just using you. It's time to unmask the false friends in your life. Stay with us and find out how. And don't forget, if you want to cultivate a healthy environment and protect your energy, subscribe to our channel and learn how to identify and distance yourself from these toxic influences. Navigating the often turbulent waters of human nature is an art that requires intuition and experience. In our journey, we encounter a variety of personalities. Some enrich our lives, while others only harm us. Identifying someone who is just using us can be painful and often not as obvious as we would like. However, recognizing these attitudes is the first step towards reaffirming our worth and establishing healthy boundaries. In our journey to discern true intentions and relationships, an essential understanding stands out. You deserve relationships that are reciprocal and respectful. If you identified with this content and found value in the information shared, I invite you to subscribe for more insights like this. Together, we will continue to navigate the complexities of human interactions, unraveling and better understanding the patterns of behavior and emotions that surround us. Your support is crucial in this journey of discovery and continuous learning. Remember, the key to healthier and more enriching relationships lies in recognizing, acting, and above all, respecting yourself and others. The second signal, selective availability exploited. In the complex nuances of human relationships, a second warning sign stands out, selective availability. This situation becomes evident when someone is readily accessible when they need something from us but strangely unreachable when the roles are reversed. Picture this scenario. You often find yourself in the role of a benefactor, responding to various requests, whether it be providing a shoulder to lean on for emotional support, doing favors, or dedicating your time and attention. However, when you find yourself in a vulnerable position, seeking support or assistance, the response from this person is a deafening silence. Messages ignored, calls unreturned, or at best, a subtle change of subject. These are the responses you get. This pattern of behavior creates a scenario where the balance of giving and receiving is skewed. You find yourself on a one-way street where your efforts and care seem to flow in a direction with no return. This dynamic not only reveals a lack of consideration, but also a deliberate disregard for your needs and feelings. Selective availability is, therefore, a mirror reflecting an uncomfortable reality. The person in question is present only when it suits them. This one-sided dynamic is a breeding ground for feelings of disappointment and resentment. The relationship becomes an imbalanced scale where the needs of one party are continually overlooked. Recognizing and confronting this reality is a vital step. It's important to ask, are we truly in a mutually enriching relationship or are we just a convenient source to satisfy someone else's needs? Self-respect and self-esteem come into play here, challenging us to reassess our boundaries and to consider whether reciprocity and respect are indeed shared values in this relationship. The third signal, the lack of detailed personal interest. In the fabric of interpersonal relationships, a third warning sign is distinctly prominent, the lack of personal interest. True friends and sincere companions are characterized by an authentic interest in our lives, our emotions, and our experiences. They revel in our stories, share in our joys, and support us in our challenges. However, 
a stark contrast emerges when dealing with someone whose interest appears to be merely functional or opportunistic. This person rarely, if ever, asks about your day, your feelings, or your aspirations. Their involvement in conversations seems to have a singular focus, themselves. The discussions, when they occur, revolve around their own experiences and needs, or are limited to superficial topics, devoid of any emotional or personal depth. This dynamic reveals a disturbing disconnection. You begin to feel that your voice and your story only hold value when they somehow serve these unilateral interests. Your role in the relationship is reduced to an audience for their narratives or a resource for their conveniences. This absence of curiosity and empathy is a telltale sign that your value to this person is conditional on what you can offer, not on who you are. This realization can be painful, but it is crucial for self-assessment and the preservation of one's own dignity. Questioning becomes essential. Are we in a relationship of equitable and genuine exchange, or are we seen as mere supporting characters in someone else's life spectacle? The lack of personal interest in a relationship is a red flag, signaling the need to re-evaluate our connections and seek environments where we are valued and respected in our entirety. If you've made it this far, you're one of the few who are truly seeking growth. Comment, seeking wisdom, along with today's date to make a commitment to yourself. Let's continue. The fourth signal, guilt and manipulation dissected. Within the spectrum of human interactions, a fourth signal emerges as a grim warning, the use of guilt as a tool for manipulation. This form of manipulation can manifest in multiple ways, but its core is always the same, to persuade or rather coerce someone into acting in accordance with the manipulator's wishes. Consider this scenario. You frequently find yourself in situations where there is a subtle yet intense pressure to say yes to requests or demands. Or perhaps the other person skillfully plays with your emotions, using them like puppets to achieve their goals. Phrases like, if you were really my friend, you would do this, or I would do the same for you, are thrown into the emotional battleground as sharp weapons aimed at exploiting your kindness and empathy. These manipulation tactics are insidious and often disguised under the guise of normality or obligation. They are designed to make you doubt your own perceptions and feelings, leading you to question whether it's your responsibility to give in. This is dangerous territory, where your emotional integrity and self-esteem can be gradually eroded. On the other hand, it is essential to recognize that healthy relationships flourish in the fertile ground of trust, mutual respect, and the freedom to express and attend to individual needs without fear or pressure. If you find yourself frequently entangled in the clutches of these manipulative strategies, an urgent need for reassessment arises. It's a moment to question the sustainability of the relationship and the possibility of establishing healthier boundaries. Confronting and acknowledging manipulation is a brave step towards preserving your emotional health and well-being. It's an act of self-assertion, where you claim your right not to be manipulated or guilt-tripped into choosing what is best for you. The fifth signal the persistent lack of respect in detail, in the mosaic of interpersonal relations, a fifth signal of dysfunction emerges clearly, persistent lack of respect. Respect, an essential two-way street in any meaningful relationship, must be a constant. A true friend or a loyal companion honors this principle with actions that reflect mutual consideration and esteem. However, a person who habitually exploits you tends to disregard these boundaries. Imagine yourself frequently facing situations where your plans are cancelled at the last minute, or the other person is late, or worse, doesn't show up at all. It seems there's always an expectation that you should mold yourself to their conveniences and whims. This pattern of neglecting your needs and time is a glaring indicator that the relationship is undervalued by this person. These attitudes, 
when viewed collectively, weave a pattern of behavior that screams selfishness and lack of consideration. However, it's vital to recognize that fallibility is a human trait. We all, at some point, may act selfishly. What differentiates a person who is using you is the persistence of these actions over time, combined with a lack of acknowledgement or effort to change. As we progress on this journey of unraveling the subtleties of human relations, it's essential to remember that self-awareness and assertiveness are powerful tools. They protect us from being exploited. Being aware of these signs and understanding how to respond to them is vital. Recognizing the presence of a harmful relationship is a crucial step in reconsidering these ties and taking steps to safeguard your emotional and mental well-being. As we continue to explore the complexities of human relationships, realizing that we are equipped to identify and react to exploitative situations is an important step. Knowledge and understanding of these signs enable us to maintain healthier and more respectful relationships. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. The sixth signal, superficial bonding and its implications. In the complex tapestry of human relationships, a sixth telling sign emerges, superficial bonding. This sign is particularly insidious because it masks the true nature of the relationship. A person who is using you tends to avoid forming a deep and meaningful connection. This behavior is manifested through an interaction that rarely goes beyond the surface. In this type of relationship, you might start to notice a pattern. Conversations usually revolve around trivial topics, shying away from diving into deeper or more personal subjects. These people keep their vulnerabilities well guarded and their emotions tightly controlled. This invisible barrier prevents the relationship from developing into a more intimate level of trust and camaraderie. The relationship seems to be stuck in a perpetual initial state where, even after a considerable amount of time, you realize that you don't truly know this person beyond a superficial facade. This is a clear sign that for the other party, the relationship is not a priority, nor a pathway to a genuine sharing of experiences and emotions. Recognizing this superficial dynamic is essential for your emotional health. It's an invitation to reflect on the value and depth of your relationships. This sign challenges us to question, are we investing our time and energy in fertile soil capable of nurturing mutual growth? Or are we clinging to a shadow of connection that never materializes into something more substantial? The realization of a superficial bond serves as a guide to make informed decisions allowing us to protect our peace of mind and seek relationships that offer true reciprocity and depth. The seventh signal, absence in crucial moments. In the journey of discerning human relationships, the seventh sign stands out with a somber clarity, absence in critical moments. The essence of a healthy relationship is often revealed not on sunny days, but in life's storms, it is during periods of adversity, illness, personal loss, or phases of intense stress that the true character of a relationship is put to the test. Imagine facing one of these challenging moments, expecting to find support and understanding from someone you consider a friend or partner. However, instead of support, you are met with a void. The person is noticeably absent, perhaps offering superficial consolation or generic words that sound more like a formality than a genuine gesture of empathy. This pattern of behavior, where emotional and physical support is notably scarce or non-existent in times of need, is an alarming indicator. It reveals that the relationship may be heavily one-sided, with one person investing emotionally while the other evades during times of reciprocation. Absence in crucial moments is a mirror reflecting the true nature of the relationship. It's not just about not being physically present. 
It's the lack of empathy, emotional unavailability, and indifference that speak volumes. This lack of support not only wears down the emotional fabric of the relationship, but also raises questions about its intrinsic value and the sincerity of the connection. Recognizing this reality can be painful, but it is essential for protecting one's dignity and emotional well-being. Confronting this truth propels us to reassess the relationship and to ponder the importance of establishing more equitable relationships where support and presence are reciprocal. Realizing the presence of concerning signs in a relationship is a vital initial step, but what truly defines the nature and future of these interactions is how we act upon these findings. In crucial moments, especially those that require support and solidarity, the absence of someone who should be by our side can reveal an uncomfortable truth about the relationship. In these difficult times, the true depth and sincerity of a bond are put to the test. The lack of emotional commitment and solidarity from someone who is using us is a clear indicator of these shortcomings. To cultivate healthier and more balanced relationships, it is essential to establish clear boundaries. Saying no is a fundamental aspect of any healthy relationship. When feeling uncomfortable or pressured, communicating your own boundaries clearly and directly is crucial. Defining and firmly maintaining what is acceptable to you is a practice of self-respect and preserving your emotional health. In situations where you feel used, open and honest communication is key. Addressing the matter calmly, clearly and directly, expressing your feelings without accusations can clarify misunderstandings and even give the other person a chance to review and change their behavior. Seeking support in dealing with the emotional complexities of being in an unbalanced relationship is another important step. Talking to trusted friends, family members or a professional can provide a much-needed outside perspective as well as support and guidance. Remember, every individual deserves respect and reciprocity in their relationships. Identifying and confronting situations where your interests are not considered is essential for strengthening your emotional well-being. Learning how to handle these challenges empowers us to build and maintain healthier, more rewarding relationships founded on mutual respect, empathy, and effective communication. By recognizing the signs of unbalanced relationships and taking proactive steps, you take a crucial step in protecting yourself and cultivating healthier and more fulfilling interactions. It's important to remember that your value is not defined by how others treat you. Rather, it is intrinsic and reaffirmed by how you stand in situations where there is a lack of respect or consideration. In our journey to discern true intentions and relationships, an essential understanding stands out. You deserve relationships that are reciprocal and respectful. If you identified with this content and found value in the information shared, I invite you to subscribe for more insights like this. Together, we will continue to navigate the complexities of human interactions, unraveling and better understanding the patterns of behavior and emotions that surround us. Your support is crucial in this journey of discovery and continuous learning. Remember, the key to healthier and more enriching relationships lies in recognizing, acting, and above all, respecting yourself and others.